For the first time in 49 years, I have the ability to grasp with my left hand, and it's such a wonderful feeling. You, know, you just can't imagine once you lose that ability to be independent because you need your hands for independence to take care of yourself. It is the largest annual wheelchair sports event in the world, and it's right here in Cincinnati. Over 18 events are planned for this week for the 37th annual National Veterans Wheelchair Games. And this morning, we have retired Army Sergeant Sean Castle. It's an amazing event, especially Cincinnati has come out big for us so far. Uh, like I said, there are 19 events, actually, I believe, this year in total. It's, wow. it's, it's growing bigger and bigger, over 600 athletes. It's a huge thing going on here. I admire the strength, courage, and ability that our veteran athletes display each year at the National Veterans Wheelchair Games, co-hosted by Paralyzed Veterans of America. great honor to introduce our physician um, who's received the uh, award of excellence. Um, that's Kevin T. White. Thank you to the PVA and to everybody who uh, participated. You know, a, I was very surprised to be nominated and, and uh, receive the award, so it's a huge honor. Something that sort of drives my work is this idea that we're not alone, right? As patients with a new injury, we are there with them through the devastating parts. We are also there to celebrate, you know, the milestones, the accomplishments. We get to where we're going if we don't have our chairs we're stranded dotson had hoped a new rule would protect passengers like him but in march the trump administration delayed it we need this now we needed it five years ago in the final days of the obama administration the department of transportation finalized the rule that would require airlines to report how many wheelchairs they've lost or damaged dotson says that's critical consumer information give us the information we need to determine which airlines are going to treat us and our equipment with respect and dignity. Give is a clothing donation program. Salute veterans in your community by donating gently used items to paralyzed veterans.
I see the Paralyzed Veterans of America as the premier advocate in working with and advocating again for spinal cord injury veterans across the nation. But in a realistic world, the care that we receive for spinal cord injury, uh, MS, TBI, PTSD, it, doesn't, it just doesn't exist in the outside world. It's important for the VA to see that they need an SCI center in Denver and a whole facility here and done right for veterans of all abilities, all disabilities, all eras. Um, it, it is so important for, for them to have this right at their fingertips, the state-of-the-art facility. Our nation's heroes deserve no less than that. You all made it happen by a dedication and commitment. And when I say you all, I mean UBC and the Paralyzed Veterans of America. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Community Connection. I'm your host, Susan Casper. Well, with spring in the air, it's a new season and a new beginning for many families. And one thing everyone loves about this time of year, cleaning. And if you don't enjoy cleaning out your closets, we want to motivate you today by the fact that your used clothing and household items could be helping paralyzed veterans and their families right here in our local community. 